All right. Most interesting thing that you're working on right now. So, uh, do I have to explain who I am? Nope. You'll, there'll okay. be a little written part about that. Right there. Mm -hmm. awesome. So, the most interesting thing I'm working on right now, Brad, is uh, we just relaunched uh, HBR.org a couple months ago. So, we're still dealing with the shakedown crews of that. And that's inherently interesting and terrifying. But one of the coolest things that we're doing is we did a big reorg as part of the redesign mm -hmm. of the magazine or the site where we knocked down all the silos. So there's no longer a books group and there's no longer a magazine group and there's no longer a web group. It's all one group. So they got a, they did that? We did that. Now how long did that take? Yeah, it's been about eight months. <laughs> well, that's not bad, actually. Well, I mean, you know, we're getting there. We're right. Like we're, we're, right. We're, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> we'll be getting there for quite some time. But, but we're getting there. That's the good stuff. And so it's been fascinating to be part of that and to... Um, you know, help in 2010 editors going online for the first time and helping online editors understand the magazine. I'm lucky enough to have had both of my backgrounds, right, right. so it's really fascinating to be part of that. I mean, we our organizing structure right now is not by not by platform or uh, is but around ideas. So we mm -hmm. have beats essentially. And on each beat team, we're trying to make sure there's a web, former web person, right. magazine person, and book person. And so each each team is looking at the ideas and looking at them for what they are and trying to determine the best way to, to tell those mm -hmm. stories, to get those ideas out, and really flexing new muscles. So it's been really uh, exhausting, but fascinating, right. and really interesting to, to be a, a, an active part of that. Let me, because uh, I know at TR, when I went to them and said, we have to figure out what what our ideas are, energy, nanotech, right. biotech, and there was a lot of pushback. And then once we started, because they thought they knew what they did, once we started doing that, we realized almost immediately we didn't exactly know what we did. Yeah. Like, did that? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that, you know, we had never, HBR as a brand had never had that approach, at least that I know of, to uh, acquisition, you know, content acquisition. So, you know, there were some no-brainers, but we got to have a strategy team, we got right. to have an innovation team. But then as we started to get a little bit closer out, or further away from the core, you know, well, do we need a sustainability team? Do we need a social entrepreneurship right. team? And they're set up so they're meant to be flexible. So if new things emerge, right. you know, a finance team two years ago might have been one person. Right. Today it's four people. It's one right. of our most important uh, teams. So it's yeah, it's it's part of kind of the discovery process of who we are mm -hmm. and, and really what we do. It's pretty fascinating. Uh, w was it more? I don't know how to ask this diplomatically. Who was more open to this? The web folks or the print folks, or was it really, or was it something that was so new that there wasn't anybody really leading this? Well, there's definitely people leading that. I was one of the people that was that was on the leadership team for this effort. Um, you know, it, we're asking everyone to do new things. Mm -hmm. So um, and, even the web folks. Well, yeah, web yeah. folks no longer are just doing web stuff. Mm -hmm. They're taking part in magazine ideas. Mm -hmm. They're, I've got two people on my team that are that are actively uh, involved with books. Mm -hmm. um, so I think everybody is beginning to learn the new um, skills necessary. Mm -hmm. and some people, I think, were more ready than others to, to do that. But mm -hmm. the good news is, I think that the uh, the acceptance level has, mm -hmm. has gone up pretty considerably. Now, the difference between I think HBR and TR was that we were losing letters. Yeah, and we were losing money as yeah. a as an organization, which made our transition a little bit easier because when you're when you're losing money, you have to do something. You have to do something. Right. HBR was not losing money. That's right. HBR was doing well. Was there concern business-wise that we're going to upend this business model that we know works mm. with this, or has it not really messed with the business model? Well, you know, we're, uh, I like to say that our business model gives us a little bit of a safe harbor mm -hmm. uh, in that, you know, most of our revenue comes from subscriptions from mm -hmm. the magazine, which are 120 bucks a year versus the, you know, the advertising right. based revenue that most magazines have. So that has protected us from a lot of the, like, the violent, you know, stories, <laughs> right. you know. But it, we're not immune to it. Right. And so, you know, we are watching our own trend lines going a pretty um, downward direction. Mm -hmm. uh, so we realized we had to get out in front of that. So I think there's always concern that you're going to break something, but I think that we have enough respect and enough of an understanding of that which makes us special and that mm -hmm. which allows us to charge a lot of money for some of our articles and right. stuff. And we're not going to mess with that. Right. You know, what we're trying to do is really figure out ways to make that better. Right. Uh, and to bring new people to right. that that we're not currently reaching. I like, I like all the hand motions, like that? too. That, that, I, I, found, I found that was important as a management style, was the hand <laughs> motion. So we got 30 seconds left. Tell me uh, quickly, most uh, the thing you're most excited about over the next 18 months. Mm. Well, getting further along in the efforts that I just described, I also think that 
you know, we're just really getting started. I like to tell people that I feel now, four years into my time at HBR, that I'm actually finally starting my job. Right. And so I, we're finally behind the HBR brand. We've got a good website, we've got good technology, we've got a good team. And so I'm really excited to see some of the momentum that we've, we've built uh, with the community. Right. We now have over a million uniques at our site. Uh, right. Which is 5X what we were four years ago. Uh, but you, I mean, literally, you did the same thing. Like it was the same yeah. for us. Like yeah. I think they're in a million so now I'm too. I'm just saying, let's uh, next 18 months are like the first 18. Months. Right. So right. I'm really excited to just get started. Cool. Thank you. Yeah.